up guys, this is Billy at Fisherman's Landing Tackle, doing a tackle tip Thursday for the searcher. Um, today we're going to talk about knife jigs. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with these. Um, the, basically in the last year these have kind of taken over for the flat fall. Um, so I'm going to talk to you guys who don't really know about them, the basics um, of how to fish them, how to rig them, and the gear you use and all that. So um, here I got probably the three most popular ones, at least the ones that were the most popular in, in the tackle shop this year. We got the Nomad Rip Roller, it's 400 grams. We got the Nomad Streaker, 320 grams. And then we got the uh, Jig Para. Um, those go up to, I think, 350 or 400 as well. Um, big thing with rigging them is you want to put um, some heavy duty hooks on them, uh, change out the ones that are on them. These are the Mustad uh, assist hooks that we use. That's a 6.0. That's kind of a good universal size. Um, so, and putting them on is, everyone does it different. Um, you want to use a heavy duty split ring and you can go, you know, one on top or one on top, one on the bottom. You can go two on each. It's up to you, but as long as, I think it's kind of important to have at least one on each end just because the jigs are so long. Um, you know, uh, just going to ensure a better hookup ratio. Another important thing is to use a heavy leader. That's 200 pound fluorocarbon. Um, we have them pre-made in the shop and you just split ring it onto the front of the jig. Um, so that's how to rig the jig. As far as the gear goes, you're using, you know, a minimum of 80 pound. A lot of times you're doing this at night, like pretty much all the time. Um, and you want to use 80 to 130 pound gear. So something as light as like a Talica 20, free spool is really good, gets down down fast, uh, torque 60, something like that. Um, all the way up to, you know, like a Pan International 50 with like 130 pound uh, line on it. Uh, using like a one or two, even three X rail rod. It's going to be, uh, it's going to help you out a lot. So that's kind of gear you want to use. And then as far as fishing the jig goes, it's it's really easy. You just drop it down. Um, and you're getting bit on the sink most of the time. Um, important to not completely let your thumb off the spool. So you don't, when you get bit, it just stops and you'll backlash. Um, but you just let it down fast. Uh, a lot of times, first guy, couple guys in the water, um, are going to be the ones who get bit, and uh, when the when it stops going out, um, put the reel in gear and wind, uh, let the rod rod load up, and uh, you're on. Um, a lot of times you're fishing. Most of the time you're fishing in super super deep water. You're not going to hit the bottom. So the you know crew members say uh, when you hit the bottom, you're bit. So be ready for it. A lot of times you're uh, going to get bit on the retrieve too, but but that's basically how you fish a knife jig. So um, that's going to do it for this week's Tackle Tip Thursday for the searcher.